So what do you do when you get into your vehicle? You turn your key. You engage the clutch. But the vehicle won't start. I'm going to show you what you do because this is actually one of the easiest things you probably ever fix on a vehicle in your life and it'll make you really think you are a genius. You can tell all your friends about it. Now before I show you how to do this super easy trick, there's actually a couple of ways that you can go about it. Uh, make sure you subscribe and then comment below that you've subscribed and give us an idea for something that you'd like to see because I'm getting a lot of like feedback that uh, you know, can you do this? Can you do this? I want to see this. I want to see that. So let us know if uh, there's something that you'd like to see and maybe we can make a video of it for you. Or if you have any questions or just let us know you subscribed and we'll say, hey. Okay, the mystery on why you push your clutch pedal in. Uh, this is a Nissan um, Frontier. The exterior is going to be the same, but there is a very, uh, odd thing that happens especially once you're over 200,000 miles like we are um and that your clutch pedal starts getting really weird like it, it's kind of touchy sometimes the vehicle doesn't want to start well let's dive in here i'm going to show you if i can angle the camera correctly here that underneath your clutch pedal i know the light just changed just a little bit but there that's better so this clutch pedal when it is depressed, you see here there is a lever here that has a, an attachment on it that is actually pressing this button right here. Now all we need to do is figure out how to keep this button pressed down, replace the thing which is like a pad on this lever, or we can actually kind of uh, remove this all together by way of bypassing it. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how we can install what's called a jumper wire. It will completely eliminate you even to have the switch on the pedal whatsoever. That means, yes, you can start the vehicle without disengaging the clutch, without depressing the pedal down. So if you have a job where you get filthy dirty and you hate having to get into your vehicle just to start it before you, know, you can clean your clothes off or something, like if you work in a factory, I used to do that. Uh, this is a great thing nice and easy but i'm also going to show you there's something that you really want to make sure you do not do uh, after you have fixed this issue okay so you see here we've got the clutch pedal there's the pedal the lever runs all the way up to here and when we press this in that button's supposed to get pressed down this thing is worn out so i'm going to take the path of actually not removing this or building this up, you know, taping some kind of piece of metal to it. Uh, I actually just want to go ahead and take this clip out. If I can get it with my hand here. I can feel it, but I don't think I can get it with one hand and hold the, uh, hold the camera at the same time. Maybe I could have broke it. So I had to, Stop the video for a second because I couldn't get this out with one hand. Um, it looks like this on this side. You can't really see, but on the back side, there's a little clip that, well, I mean, it is a clip, but this is what you're pressing down. So when this presses down here, like that, it's pulling this little, anyways, it'll, it'll drive you crazy. But all we're gonna do, I mean, it's literally as simple as taking a piece of wire you could basically use a speaker wire, anything. We're going to cut it down, shove it in these two holes, and this thing is going to basically...
we're doing it on the Frontier. You could do it on anything that's got a manual transmission, okay? The secret is you can't have your vehicle in gear. If you forget you're in first or whatever gear, reverse, like if you parked on a hill, your car will move when you turn the key because that starter is trying to turn the motor over. The problem is it's in gear, so it's actually, you see what I'm saying? All right, so, all right, no clutch. We're not pressing anything down here. It's that simple, that simple. Now you may want to um, go back and there's a couple of things you can do. You can put some uh, electrical tape over this just to make sure it doesn't come out, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Um, you can also solder it in there. You know, you could technically cut that clip off and just twist tie the wires together with a wire nut. You understand where I'm getting at. The only thing that needs to happen is the two wires that are on this have to touch each other and that's it. You can pull this switch out, you can tape over this switch, whatever, but this in my opinion is the best way. Uh, you don't have to worry about any of the other mess. So hopefully that will help you if like you just know your perfectly fine running vehicle is just all of a sudden not starting. Maybe this is uh, an option um, or if, uh, you know, whatever. So if this helps you out, feel free to uh, subscribe and uh, drop a comment below. We love uh, newcomers. We're just trying to help some folks out and uh, kind of the same thing we've been doing for a while. Also, if you like some cool guy stuff, car stuff, we're doing a build on a 90 Integra. It's got hail damage all over it, so we call it Swiss cheese. You can check that out. There's a, a playlist uh, also on this channel. Let us know if you have any requests. Good luck to you. Peace.